Hey, 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 everybody. Wooju here. Back with yet more mail. Um, of course, old mail from previous mail days, but stuff you haven't seen yet. So, um, no huge names in this set. I apologize. So, if you're looking for a huge name, you could turn off right now and I appreciate you watching for the few seconds. But otherwise, stick around and see what I got. Uh, first off, these first two cards um, I got from Everett. Met up with him at the Pittsburgh show where I got Franco Harris and Mel Blount on my helmet. Um, he talked me into buying these two along with the uh, Bill Parcells that was in a previous video. Uh, first one is 1 of 15. Nice on-card autograph Hall of Fame. From Flawless. Ty Law. Which I'm surprised he let that go because he's a Patriots fan. But I appreciate him letting me add that to my collection. Especially being Hall of Fame piece. I always like the stuff that's like, hey, they're in the Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Um, next, it's not 06 National Treasures, I apologize, this may be a video where there's no 06 National Treasures. I know you're sad, I know you are, but don't worry, there's 97 Upper Deck Legends, so you still have that to look forward to, right? Uh, this is 15 out of 15, nice, authentic, this is, uh, Game Worn Prime jersey, Prime, but one color, Raymond Berry. So you can kind of see it's a patch piece, but, uh, a little cut off on the autograph, but I'm happy with that. I find something nicer, I apologize, but I may upgrade, but, you know, is what it is. Uh, this next one is 56 out of 99. This is from, what is this from? That is a good question. 2020 Limited, nice on-card autograph of Jason Taylor. I like to get on-card stuff when I can, but, you know, I still love my patches when they're game-used. Uh, next one, definitely want to upgrade this at some point, but this was a grab for cheap and upgrade later thing uh from absolute football 2017 sticker auto 93 and 99 bob lily there's so much nicer bob lily stuff out there but for now that is the piece that i got and there will be upgrades in the future uh this next one is from this is a reprint but yours actually the 2001 tops reprint tops archives to be exact um he's got a lot of cut autographs out there checks but not too many of these the on card Rosie Brown, Roosevelt Brown. So, nice little piece for the collection there. Again, if I can get an on card for somebody, I will, like Autogram. But sometimes you got to go with the cuts when you can have to. So, uh, this next one, I definitely want to get something a little nicer. Um, I mean, it's nice that it's a rookie, but it's press pass. But I know he has at least one more, like that's actually pro jersey, Richard Seymour. So. I'll be looking to upgrade that, but for now, that will do. Uh, next one, I think he has a 97 Legends, actually. I don't know why I didn't just wait and buy that. This is 2016 or 2018. I'm getting old, folks. Getting old, can't see anymore. 2018 Classic Football. Uh, Roger Worley from the Cardinals. 75 out of 99. Uh, another player that his prices have oddly gone like higher than what i expected i mean i don't know why but his stuff has gone up and he's got nice patch autographs but they always go for money i think it's kind of silly for him uh but this is 7 out of 25 from was it 2011 limited let me check here yeah 2011 limited jim auto i mean nice looking auto nice card nice auto on fully on sticker but so much nicer stuff just i don't get the prices uh, this is from 2020 Mosaic Football, full sticker auto, Alvin Bethay. Again, wouldn't mind upgrading this. Nice looking card, nice color match, I guess they call it. I don't know the new terms. Pretty card, and doesn't really detract from the auto, but there's nicer stuff. This next one, for the love of all those holy, I need to upgrade this. Beautiful patch, 8 out of 10, fully on sticker auto, but it's 2021 playbook football and that player worn crap and i really need to get something similar to what i used to have but for now it'll work but it's the john riggins playbook um goal line graphs autograph looks good patch is just me because it's the player worn crap so you know how that goes uh next one i kept trying to buy one of these for a little while and just prices were up and down up and down up and down up and down uh, this is from 2021 Prism Football, which is, I, I don't know why Prism is like this huge thing, but nice looking stuff, don't get me wrong, but just some of the prices for Prism stuff is ludicrous. 
Uh, but nice prism on car or on sticker auto, Ed Reed. Hard to find one where he like has a full clean auto because half the time he cuts off letters. So uh, this next one again, I love the top stuff. Um, this is 1998, so this is before they started adding the sticker. I wouldn't mind upgrading, but I still might keep it even if I do upgrade, like single Terry. So everything looks good on there, you know, because people still will fake stuff. But this next one, uh, <laughs> I so need to upgrade this one as well. This is from Master Collection, All Time Greats Master Collection, which was 2015. Ugly, ugly card, really. <laughs> but it was cheap enough. I was like, I can upgrade later. Get him off the list. John that way. Of course, the 06 or 20, yeah, 2006 National Treasures. Hall of Fame greatness would be the piece that I'd love to get, but that's going to cost a pretty penny. So for now, this will hold the spot in my collection until I get something nicer. Uh, next, this is 9 out of 25. This is from 2020 Illusions Football. So again, player worn, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but still a nice fully on sticker auto, which is always the goal. Steve Hutchinson. Nice and shiny. Shiny. Uh... Next, this is from 2018 Donruss Football. Again, I'll look for something nicer down the road. But signature marks Edron James. So I'm sure some nicer stuff's already out there and probably more to come. So, uh, Next one, this looks like somebody got either as a redemption or a replacement. This is from 2018 Spectra Football on card, 3 out of 25, John Lynch. Really didn't care what I got as long as I got like an on card, so... There's some other stuff I've been kind of watching here and there, but thought that one would look nice in the collection. Uh, next, this is 13 out of 75 from 2021 Encased Football. I don't know if this was supposed to be in the case because I don't know what Encased really looks like. Again, I got out in 2017 for a while, so. Uh, but Tony Baselli, Legendary Signatures. I'm guessing not all were Encased, so that's probably one of the ones that's not, but... Uh, this is a pretty nice set too from uh, this encased as well. Yeah, this is also 2021, 2020 encased, 43 out of 75. The Hall of Fame stuff from uh, Orlando Pace, class of 2016. Got that for a fair price. Uh, next is 6 out of 20, Kevin Maway from the New York Jets, Mirror from Certified. Certified was always one of my favorite products back in the day. Nice looking mirror signature. Shiny. Uh, next for the Patriots, this is the Tops. Oh, what the heck is this? Team Tops Legends. Rookie reprint autograph. Got the sticker on the back. This is from what, 2001. So an older card by today's standards. John Hanna on card autograph. Boom. Uh, next would be. This is from 2010 Limited Football. So I was still collecting at the time. Nice game used jersey autograph. 4 out of 25. Don Maynard. Uh, another Prism autograph. It again, just kind of what I was able to grab. This is not numbered. It's 2021 Prism. And that'd be Terrell Davis. Fully on sticker. That's again one of the big keys. Like I'll pass up an autograph even for cheap if it's not fully on sticker most of the time if it's too good of a deal then i'll buy it but otherwise i tend to stay away uh next flawless football unfortunately this isn't the year of flawless football when you know everything was actually game used but this is player worn 2021 harry carson on card autograph i overpaid for this i already know i did um little regret there but nice looking might as well just say it's a manufactured patch because yeah, that's about what it is. Um, so, Harry Carson. And the last three we have here are all good old 1997 Upper Deck Legends. Uh, first off, we'll start with Mr. Andy Robastelli. Runs up there onto the UD logo, which kind of sucks, but it's what I was able to grab for a reasonable price at the time, and so I grabbed it and ran. Uh, next... Mr. Larry Wilson, which after a while, it was hard to find this card. I don't know why. Like, they were just not popping up at all. 
And then the ones that were listed were like insane price. So I'm like, I am not paying that much for Larry Wilson. Sorry about your luck. So finally got him. And last but certainly not least, which I think I had a cut of him before. Um, but I was managed to get the on card 97 Legends this time around. Joe Perry. So nice little piece there. So like I said, nothing crazy in this video, but you know, plenty more of what I wanted to show off. And uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed um we're getting down there we're finally getting to the bottom of what i've got sitting around that need to be organized so um i'll try to keep doing videos as i can they'll be slower once i get done with all these videos of what i've picked up since may and then pretty much will be upgrades and stuff coming in from psa and whatnot and any shows that i might attend so hope you guys have enjoyed and catch y'all later